gotta be the greatest thing you ever had. Both of the hockey band of the kissy face, please. Hey everyone, and welcome to UK Media Warrior. Despicable, Despicable Me Free has just hit the cinemas, um, and I'm here to review it. I saw it on Saturday. Um, I've seen the other two. My wife is a huge fan of these films, a huge fan of the Minions. <laughs> I admit the Minions uh, do make me laugh, although I wasn't that impressed with their standalone movie. Um, I think I think sometimes a little Minions goes a long way, or at least with adults, probably with kids, young kids. They <laughs> they love them, so I don't have kids, so I'll have to just assume that's the case. Uh, but these films do well at the box office, so the parents must keep sending their kids to see it. And in the theatre where I saw this film, it was full of families, full of young kids. And they were laughing along all the way through the film. You didn't get the usual boredom about halfway through where they start running around the cinema screen or, you know, talking because they're bored. So the last two movies um, were okay. I mean, I preferred the first one, I think, but the second one was all right. The problem is that if you've seen the first and the second one, then pretty much everything that happens in the third one, you've pretty much already seen. So if you're an adult going into this, you're probably going to be watching it thinking, yeah, I've seen the family dynamics in the second one, you know, him and Lucy getting together, him being good rather than bad. The fact that they're thrown in his brother Drew oddly enough, doesn't really add much to it. I mean, he's basically just grew just slightly more flamboyant, but other than that, as far as story is concerned, he really doesn't add a lot to the story at all. And in fact, he's really only there as a comedy sort of sidekick sort of thing, which is a bit disappointing to a degree. Um, the main good point in this for me uh, was the bad guy, Balthazar Brat who's an 80s child actor, or he was a child actor back in the 80s, and his show got cancelled, and that turned him into this evil villain mastermind. So throughout this, as you've probably seen in the trailers, if you've seen the trailers and uh, throughout the film, um, he has this 80s um, score that he, 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 he fights to, the 80s soundtrack that he fights to, that he does his robberies to, and he moonwalks around the place, and he, He's got shoulder pads. Um, I just love that character. I thought he was hilarious. And I love the 80s songs because being a child of the 80s, it was nice to hear them again. Um, a lot of people said they were, uh, it was a very pointed you know, thing to do that, okay, this guy is from the 80s, so we're just going to hammer you with 80s songs. But I don't understand why that's a problem. I mean, they do it in films nowadays. I mean, look at Suicide Squad and the amount of songs they hammered into that. I mean... I, I, this wasn't an issue for me. As I say, the, the small amount of 80s songs that you do hear, they're only on there for like a minute or two each, so it's not hugely overdone. Um, but Balthazar Brat was, was the highlight for me, even more so than Gru, and Lucy and Drew. The young girls were in it, but it was almost like they didn't have to be in it. it was, they didn't really do anything. They just sort of like wandered around this island. There's a some weird storyline where Margot the eldest gets engaged to this young village boy by accident um, and the youngest uh, I think it's Agnes I get confused but Agnes, I think it's Agnes the youngest one gets told that there's real unicorns out in the forest so she goes out into the forest to hunt for a real unicorn, unicorn and ends up with a goat but as I say for, for young kids this will be fine this is all they want now, if you're going for the Minions, this is a callback to the second film. The Minions are in it, and when they are in it, they're really funny. Um, the Minions in Jail, I thought was hysterical. I love that. But they're not in it a lot, and they've almost got a... It's almost like a, a mini, mini movie to themselves, because they're not really part of the main story. They only really are on screen with Gru at the very start and the very end. Everything in the middle, most of the film, they're away in jail or doing their own thing, or they're not actually part of the main story and they're not actually interacting with Gru. 
So it's a bit odd, but it it, it, it sort of works because the min minions are funny and I like watching them. Um, and in the main plot line, Balthazar Brat was funny and kept me entertained, so that was fine. But oddly enough, the Gru, Lucy, and Drew, the, the the main characters, I suppose, in this film, I really wasn't that bothered about. I really wasn't interested in. I was just interested in Balthazar Brat and and the minions. <laughs> That's really all that I got out of this, and and they were the ones that gave me the laughs. Um, it is set up for a fourth one. I don't know whether they'll go that route or whether they'll think freeze enough. I personally think freeze enough. I don't think they need a fourth one. But if this one makes a lot of money, um, then they'll probably end up doing it purely because, hey, it's a bottom line business. If it's making money, the studios are going to do it. Parents are going to take their kids to go and see it. So is it a good film? Yeah. It's okay. I mean, if you like the first two, you'll probably like this one to some degree, like me. I didn't get a huge amount out of it from the original characters. But as I've said, as I just said, I like the Minions and I like Balthazar Brat. And, and so I got something out of it as an adult. And if you're taking your kids, they'll love it. So you've got no problems there. So Despicable Me Free. There you go. That's my review. I'm going to give this one a 6.5 out of 10. Um, and we'll wait and see. <laughs> Perhaps they'll do another Minions movie, although I, I doubt it. But anyway, until next time, you guys take care. Thank you for watching. See you then. Bye for now.